how you doing how you been guys i quit my job i quit my job um there's the update <laughs> a little bit of a backstory so in february it is actually so crazy but officially i quit two weeks ago um I did put in my two week notice, but after a one on one with my direct supervisor and what he had to say, I bounced that same day. Um, but basically, for those that do not know, I have been working for this um, insurance company for the past four years almost. Um, and I quit February 2021. Um, that was during the pandemic. I remember my daughter was in pre-K three or four. I'm not sure. Pre-K four. She was in pre-K four and she was doing remote learning. Anyways, I quit. I could not handle that job during that time, especially with my little one remote learning. Mm -mm. That was not working out. So then one of my coworkers contacted me and was like, girl, how you doing? How you been? We hiring a whole bunch of people. And I'm just like, the unemployment was running out. So I went back. I went back. That was the end of August of 2021. So basically, I had like a six-month break. And I stayed with them since that August 2021. And yeah, January 30th, 2024. Stephanie quit. I couldn't do it anymore. For those that do not know, I was a multi-line claims adjuster. I loved being a multi-line rep. We got to handle the toys, boats, RVs, uh, motorhomes, snowmobiles, motorcycles, ATVs. I handled those and I enjoyed it so much. But unfortunately, the company that I work for, when it's not like the summertime, when we're off season, I'm in the Northeast, so nobody, nobody's using their boat in the wintertime here. They have us um, also handle auto. Anyone in the insurance industry knows that auto is the bottom of the barrel, is the worst um, department to get into, but it's a starting point for a lot of claims adjusters. So yeah, they had us do auto and they tried to be slick because when it was spring, summer, we were still taking auto. Basically, we took auto the entire year. So they really made multi-line handle everything. And I don't think that's fair. So I quit, I bounced, they kept making fake promises saying that they were hiring people and that the workload was gonna get better, that reps weren't supposed to get no more than four claims a day. Lies, y'all lie. And I don't understand how long an employee has to wait to get that. I don't think that's fair. That's not fair at all. And the ones making the decisions are the leaders, the supervisors, the managers. It's so easy for y'all to say, no, a rep can handle six, seven claims a day because y'all not handling that claim. Y'all not handling that. Anyways, my rant is over. With that being said, um, let's budget my last paycheck. So my last paycheck was for $2,279. That paycheck was a little bit more because they also cashed out my unused PTO. And then also I didn't work the full two weeks. Um, so the math is right. Out of the $2,279 that I had, the first bill that I paid was my gas bill. We had been abusing our gas fireplace. Uh, my my bedroom is in the basement. We have a finished basement, but since we have two exterior doors in the basement, um, it's very cold down there. We have heaters, but the heaters need some assistance. So we've also been using our gas fireplace and we keep it on all night. So my gas bill is extremely high. I am making $400 payments monthly to kind of, to trickle that balance down. Another bill that I paid was phone bill. Phone bill was for $332. Um, I have multiple lines. It's not just my line. That's why it's so high. But my hubby helps me with that. I paid my Firestone credit card. Um, I paid $50. Car insurance, I got to pay today. Mortgage, I'm also going to pay today because mortgage is due the 15th and today's the 13th. So might as well pay that. And then I set aside $200 for my car payment. Car payment is due the end of the month. That is a total of $14.92. So the $2,279 minus the $14.92 and the $400 leaves me with $387.
and we were not done there because we still have to eat so i went grocery shopping this weekend i went to stop and shop i spent like 130 something there we didn't stop there because then the next day i had to fill up my gas i had to fill up my gas <laughs> That sounds nasty. I had to fill up my car with gas. That was $51. So that leaves me, let's see, 387 minus the 130 something minus the 51. That leaves me with 198. And currently, I have a situation going on downstairs. My sink is clogged, my kitchen sink. So because my sink is clogged, that means that I wasn't able to cook. So I had ordered Domino's. That was 30 something. So minus that. And then because my sink is clogged, I don't got money for a plumber. So I went ahead and I bought some Drano and then some baking soda and vinegar. That was like $15, so minus 15. We are left with $153. So since I quit my job, that was like my highest source of income. I do have multiple sources of income, you guys. One of them being TikTok. If you are not on TikTok and you are cashed up for it, you're sleeping on yourself. Please post on TikTok. I grew so fast. I can't even believe the amount of people that follow me. Like, I'm just Stephanie. But, um, yeah, I, I'm obsessed with TikTok. So, if you're not following me on TikTok, what are you doing? Follow me on TikTok. You really get a taste of, like, me and also budgeting and also there's like some claim adjustment stuff there if you want to see me at work too just it's a good time over there so tiktok pays every 15th of the month of course i'm going to share with you guys how much i made but not in this video wait till my next video okay um i did really good for the month of january so i'm excited i'm excited for that money to hit um, another thing I also get paid, um, through TikTok shop affiliate. So I'll make a little commission off there. I'm also part of Amazon affiliate. I make commission on there. I also make commission, um, whenever I like promote cash envelopes, the ones that you can purchase through Etsy, I use share sale. So I make commission off that as well. I'm going to make a video on like in depth of like all these sources of income that I'm getting because it's really passive and I love it. I love it. Um, my goal is to continuously um, add to the list of the income streams that I have. Just because I quit doesn't mean that we're gonna stop saving either. Um, saving challenges. This situation is making me wanna stuff these even more. I cannot wait when I finish this one. This one, I think I'm just funding my um, my Christmas because this is the 52 Fridays. So you stuff this every Friday of the year. And then you guys already know the 100 envelope savings challenge from Patties and Budgets. You guys already know. That is pretty much the update. My next video will be how much I got paid um, from TikTok. And then, of course, doing the cash stuffing, withdrawing, seeing how I'm going to handle all of that. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited too. I'm nervous. It's so crazy. Um, I quit my job because the amount of anxiety that I have and the anxiety hasn't gone away, but the anxiety is so much more manageable. Like I can handle the stress of paying bills versus the stress that I had from the job that I had. I'm feeling, I, feel, I really feel myself healing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very long. It was only a chit chat um i hope you guys enjoyed and if you watch this video and you're not subscribed to me what are you doing it's kind of weird don't you think just just subscribe bye